9. Overload the unary operator plus plus to add any number with 10 instead of the normally added one. Remember that the plus plus operator increases any value by 1. So here, we are going to redefine the meaning of plus plus operator with the functionality of increasing any value by 10. Here is the program code. And this is the declaration of class named unary overloading, where we declare two integer variables, i and oi. We then declare that all upcoming declarations are publicly accessible. On the next line, we define the constructor function. It prompts the user to enter a number, and input value is stored in memory location i. We then declare display number function. It is defined outside this class, here. And it prints the value of i after the operator overloading function has been executed. Next, we declare the operator overloading function. Here it is the plus plus function. This plus plus function is also defined outside the class, and what does it do? It increases the value of i by 10 and stores it in oi. The class declarations and definitions are all over. So let's enter the main function of this program. On line 25, we instantiate the class unary overloading with an object named obj. Whenever an object is created, the constructor function with no parameters, auto runs first. So the unary overloading function which we defined gets executed. It is prompted to enter any number. I enter 2. It's stored in variable i of the object obj. Don't forget that variables of a class always belong to its objects. So i and oi are part of the object obj. In program code, line 26 gets executed. It invokes the plus plus operator of object obj. So the operator obj function gets executed. Inside the function on line 21 it says, increase the value of i by 10 and assign it to variable oi. In the object obj, 2 plus 10, that is 12, is stored in oi. Next, the program control shifts to line 27, where the display number function of object obj is invoked. The function gets executed. It is a cout statement that prints on output screen the value of i after operator overloading. Let's next learn how to apply the function overloading feature on a binary operator.